Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. As of April 5, 2024, Marine Fighter Attack Squadron, VMFA, 542, a key unit under the 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing, MAW, has reached a significant milestone by achieving full operational capability. This accomplishment not only solidifies VMFA 542's position as a vital asset within the U.S. Marine Corps but also marks a historic moment as the first squadron on the East Coast to integrate the F-35 Lightning II fighter into its operational framework. Full operational capability denotes that VMFA 542 is fully equipped and prepared for active duty, having seamlessly transitioned from its previous tactical aircraft platform to the state-of-the-art F-35B Lightning II. With this achievement, the squadron is now primed and authorized to deploy globally, providing critical support for planned missions as well as unforeseen operations. Serving as the inaugural operational fifth-generation fighter squadron under the second MAW, VMFA-542 stands ready to execute its mission essential tasks, METs, in close coordination with the Marine Air Ground Task Force, MAGTF. These tasks encompass a diverse range of responsibilities including close air support, strike operations, reconnaissance, offensive anti-air warfare, suppression of enemy air defenses, electronic attack and support, and active air defense. Lt. Col. Brian Hansel, the commanding officer of VMFA-542, emphasized the significance of this milestone, stating, Achieving full operational capability is a testament to the outstanding work and exemplary professionalism of the Marines of VMFA-542. This milestone signifies the integration of a combat-ready aviation squadron, equipped with unparalleled combat effectiveness and survivability, into the Marine Expeditionary Force. We are ready and capable of executing missions globally in support of the MAGTF as we prepare for future challenges. The F-35 Lightning II, a fifth-generation fighter aircraft, boasts advanced stealth capabilities, unmatched agility, comprehensive sensor integration, and real-time battlefield awareness for its pilots. Engineered to confront sophisticated threats while enhancing lethality, survivability, and maintainability, the F-35B Lightning II variant, distinguished by its short takeoff and vertical landing capabilities, is uniquely suited for operations from amphibious assault ships and expeditionary airstrips, even those measuring less than 2,000 feet in length. VMFA-542 542 embarked on its transition to the F-35B Lightning II in December 2022 and welcomed its inaugural F-35B aircraft on May 31, 2023. Following rigorous training and preparation, the squadron achieved initial operational capability on February 5 before reaching a significant milestone with the acquisition of its 10th aircraft on March 25, ultimately culminating in the attainment of full operational capability on April 3. In addition to its remarkable achievements on the home front, VMFA-542 recently showcased its capabilities on the global stage through participation in Exercise Nordic Response 24 in Norway. This two-week exercise, conducted alongside NATO allies and partners, underscored military proficiency across diverse domains in challenging Arctic and mountainous environments. During the exercise, VMFA-542 conducted a distributed aviation operations event at Kallax Air Base in Luleå, Sweden, on March 13. This marked a historic moment as it represented the first landing of a US F-35 Lightning II aircraft in Sweden, the inaugural F-35 operation at Kallax Air Base, and one of Sweden's inaugural training events following its NATO membership. In summary, the attainment of full operational capability by VMFA-542 with the F-35B Lightning II signifies a monumental achievement not only for the squadron but also for the broader capabilities of the U.S. Marine Corps. With its cutting-edge technology and unwavering commitment to excellence, VMFA-542 stands poised to uphold its legacy of excellence while embracing the challenges of tomorrow's dynamic operational landscape. That's all for now, see you later.